So namaste to all. So I am Supraja, University Coordinator of SRM Institute of Science and Technology. So after completing my UHV introductory and UHV2 workshops, and uh, I was started attending this regular weekly meeting, and I felt this UHV is helping me to understand my existential question, which I had for many years. And I was trying to seek answers for the questions in many ways. So it helped me to see all the level of interconnectedness, like self, body, human, human relationship, and human nature, mutual fulfillment. So I went and told about this program to my deans and higher ups, and they gave me a complete uh, freedom and the support to initiate this value education cell. And consistently, they provided a support to all the plants. Initially, we started with the faculty awareness in our university. And we went to all the department introducing there is such a program that can help us to understand the purpose of human being. And we organized and many people showed up the interest to attend this kind of uh, FDP. So we organized few self-funded UHP introductory UHP2 FDPs for the faculty member. And through that past one year, we got around 785 faculty members who have completed introductory and 180 in UHV2. And followed them with the sufficient number of faculty members, we introduced this UHV2 courses, three credit courses in the disciplines like ENT and SNH as a mandatory course. And the medical has come up with the value added course in all the five campuses. And slowly we focused on the team development and we had a, a weekly meeting inside our university every Saturday from 10 to 11. So around 50 volunteers are there and 20 were a very active volunteers. So then we discussed about this MDP proposal to our dean sir and he told go ahead and organize. And we felt it is a right time as we had a very good number of faculty member to volunteer and they volunteer by themselves to take up this roles and responsibility. So this is how this MDP has been organized. And the procedure and the application for, the, for this MDP is similar to other self-funded FDPs. Uh, we have to get a permission from the regional coordinator and apply through the form. And we had 15 uh, sessions in the offline and one online session. And this online session is mainly focused on the MDP takeaway and plans to integrate this human values at SRM for developing a well-rounded graduate. And this is the voice of our vice chancellor. He wanted to see this SRM as a self-disciplined. So this is the purpose and the program for a MDP. The purpose is to share the vision of holistic value-based education and a crucial role of this universal human values. And the purpose is to assist this SRM in developing its plan and the program for UHV and the holistic value-based education. And the program, in the program we had, the overview of the core content of the UHV was being uh, discussed and the glimpse of the work done so far and the future potential. And the tutorials related to the core content, which is connecting with one life. And there were an assignments, which is helped to reinforce the core content. The day one assignment was fully focused on the self path, like list of all your desires and how much you can fulfill using this right understanding and right of feeling and how much is to use to fulfill with the physical facility. So is the desire is a category of the self or the body? How was your priority, uh, whether it is focused on right understanding or a relationship or physical facility? So it was more focused on the uh, day one assignment was more focused on the self and the day two assignment was fully focused on the relationship part. So more on your conversation, how much is related to right understanding and the right feeling. And they were discussing the uh, people were discussing about uh, trust and the competence. So those questions, eight questions was discussed with their spouse. And that is how the day two assignment was designed. And the day three assignment is to uh, ses two sessions, which I will be explaining in the further slide. And this MDP was a process of dialogue on initiating and strengthening the self-exploration process. So this was the photo glimpse. Uh, the challenge we really had is uh, how to enroll these higher officials to this program. Initially, we sent a mail to the uh, higher ups, but it 
it was just like a mail because every day from uhp cell there would be some mails so they didn't we didn't have much response so we went and spoke to every deans and directors and hods in person we didn't see the whole team has worked in the background to meet everyone in person we didn't see their position we but just felt there was an another self just similar to us longing to understand their self so with the feeling of relationship we went and spoke and there was a lot of questions from their end why should i attend don't you think uh, that i know values is it necessary for me uh, like this kind of questions was there and this really helped our team to work on ourselves and to observe how was our feeling to answer up with these questions so later it was uh, with all these uh, people i started enrolling by themselves and there were around 96 deans and directors it is covering almost 80% of our deans and directors has joined along with few hods and 81 of them has turned up and 76 were attended for the all three days so this was kumar bayas and rajul bayas sessions and evening we had a discussion with the uhv volunteering team after this mdp session we do have in the evening and participants were so interactive and they were discussing lot of questions and uh, there was a lot of sharing from the participants as well so this was the whole crew who have attended this mdp workshop all deans directors and head of the departments and as i mentioned that assignment tree has two session so session 1 and session 2 this was happened in the after 3 weeks later that is during the 16th assignment 3 uh, there was a 15 groups and each group has come up with the consolidated key takeaways of their group and session 3 is a consolidated vision and the plans from the four discipline that four discipline is one is the university level second is engineering and technology third is science and humanity and fourth is medical and the observation and takeaway from uhp cell was given and followed by the recommendation of uhp team that aict team has come up with the recommendation and finally there was an address from our professor uh, our uh, vice chancellor mutamal chalvan sir so so session 1 uh, of the assignment is all about this uhv mdp what is this uhv mdp in your own words and write down the five key takeaways from the core content which the group could able to explore and specify some real time incidents and what are the interesting incidents took place during uhp mdp or during the course completion of this assignments and uh, this assignments uh, we were little bit hesitant first whether uh, these higher ups will interact but the interaction was more and also we could see while doing this assignment part the three weeks it was really helpful to meet everyone in the small group and we were had around three to four times of discussion with this each group and they were trying to ask many questions and try to get clarify on the content they wanted to understand so these are the uh, session one there was a uh, key takeaway shared by uh, many people and few of the were listed here this is by our director international relationship mohan sir he has mentioned that there is a true balance between needs and desire the true meaning of happiness i realized after the session that happiness is something driven internally not through outside if i seek something through outside and he felt it is not a permanent happiness it is just an excitement and he also mentioned that he has understood the difference between the self and the body and he, he could able to see there is a lack of competence and it is a way of living he, he has mentioned and also he mentioned his relationship is with his wife and the children is getting better and one more incident also he has mentioned previously he was the person who criticized and blame a lot when the work is not done on time so recently when his driver called him and mentioned that he is little late to the work uh, he patiently said no problem you can directly come to office i will take a car to the office once the driver has come back he patiently asked him why you couldn't able to make it for today then driver has replied that today my daughter was not feeling well so i was about to take it to the hospital that is why i couldn't able to come on time so mohan sir has realized that we should not judge the people when the work is not done so we are something to understand what is happening so this was his take away in the which he is mentioned 
And the second one is from, uh, second one which I mentioned here is from Gopal sir. He is a Dean of our College of Engineering and Technology. He has mentioned and he has understood how this accumulation of physical facility has impacted the society and nature. And complementing is better than competing because he feels that we are creating a, comp a competitive environment and that should be changed to complementarity. And he, he felt that many times he take a, uh, decisions with the preconditional mindset and he mentioned that working on minimizing this preconditional mindset will help to resolve this issue. So this was the mention from Dean and Anupama ma'am, she's an assistant director of international relationship. She has mentioned that uh, her daughter was hurt while play playing in front of his persons but when she came home, his husband, uh, her husband has mentioned that if this incident would have happened in his present, how Anupama Ma'am would have reacted. So this made Anupama Ma'am to uh, get the clarity that how she is judging a people on intentions without considering her competence, their competence. So this was a mention from Anupama Ma'am. And this was my personal experience in the during after the MDP. So I went and gave this housekeeping a car, the sweet box with a thank you note. Um, for her uh, service during this MDP. And after getting that sweet box, she has mentioned, like every day I'm getting this kind of uh, sweet snacks, tea, coffees, but it is all the leftovers. Whenever there was an event, there will be a lot of uh, sweets and snacks will be there, but it is all leftover. And this is the first time I'm receiving something for mine. So I feel like uh, she's getting a physical facility every day, but right feeling over the physical facility is important is what I could able to uh, feel it and this was mentioned by Don John Dean sir uh, John sir he's a Dean science he has mentioned affection is not taken for the granted because he usually sent money to his aged mom who is in a, a native and this time he himself went and met her uh, made a physical visit to meet her mom and uh, he mentioned and he felt very happy for it so this was a takeaway from Pushpalata Ma'am, HOD seated. She mentioned after this program, I made myself composed. I don't want to react to my colleague immediately. So when I doubt on their intention, so she could significantly see the impact that she has received so many thank you messages and faculties calling and saying that uh, how she has understood the situation. And she also mentioned the right understanding and right evaluation will bring harmony in workplace. And she has tapped a few faculty members and she motivated them and that have given a concrete outcome which made me happy and proud. And she said she has decided this practice to be continued more and more towards the faculty members. In our department at least she started. So Sridhar sir, he is a professor from CTEC. He was mentioning that he was mentioning that he usually make a fun out of his spouse, especially in the group meetings, and he felt it is just a fun. But he realized that, and there was a fight between the wife and husband for this reason. And he mentioned, I realized that each one of us having their own eye, that is the self. And it is not the same as a body. And I realized how this relationship, nature, society is important. And there is uh, Linus Martin, sir. He has mentioned that what was particularly fascinating during this MDP session is the topic was transformative and the behavior of few colleagues about who are participated. He has felt that some of the individuals who have participated were so reserved and introvert personalities. And this content, UHP content, they have, well, discussing this content, they all had de delved deeper into the subject and they have emerged as an enthusiastic and active participants. And he mentioned they are not only interacted with the enthusiasm, but they posted so many questions, though that is added the depth to the discussion. So this was the mention from Lina sir. And Suman from the medical, she has mentioned, I realize we all want happiness and harmony and we are all suffer regardless of age, status, education and discipline. And I realize this UHV principles were straightforward and simple and natural to feel and practice. And she said first time she adopted the idea that everyone wants others to be happy. So this she felt it is new to her. So these are the some of the key takeaway from the session one of assignment. And the session two of the assignment is, it is actually very helpful and it is to develop 
implementation plan for the holistic value based education at srm so some key points which can be mentioned as given here this need of the value education what is the vision for the next version of education to develop a curriculum and what are the updated course we can implement so we started thinking about this perspective the discipline heads were discussing with the groups and they come up with the uh, points which can develop um, holistic value based education so what are the non curricular actions what are the outreach programs we can plan what are the specific measures for gauging this process and specific commitment from in the uh, administrative level to the individual level and they have come up with asked us to make an analysis how much of the plan is related to right understanding and how much of the plan is related to relationship uh, to develop a relationship and how much of the plan is to develop the skills of the physical facility so how this education will help in fulfilling this expectation articulated by the uh, act or nac so how this education will help in resolve present day problems how what to what do you see in the full potential possibility and potential of uhp in this education so these were the question and our um, university has come up with the various plans and implementation and this was the university wide plan and recommendation made by morgan sir he is a director of international relations and he has mentioned we he could able to see that potential of value education value based education and value based living and he mentioned that we are we the srm are in the scratch of the surface of the value education we just implemented this value education course in future we want to make a value based education incorporating the values in all the syllabus of all the uh, all the curriculum and slowly it will become a value based living so we need to inculcate this value education in all the srm institution and in all the disciplines so incorporating this uh, holistic value based in, uh, education in the university vision and mission statement and he has also come up with the vision and mission statement he has reworked it that is there in the next slide and we want to strengthen our uhp team so whether uh, sir has mentioned dedicatedly four uh, people will be nominated for it and one director uh, one university coordinator and two ucs were all uh, university coordinators were already given and to bring in lot of volunteers so we we are planning to come up with a uh, leadership development program and he mentioned this can be oriented for chancellor post chancellor vice chancellor and pro vice chancellor register and other syndicate member and develop the evaluation process for competence and ability strengthen the counseling cell through uhp at present we do have every department the counseling cell so that can be strengthened with the content of uhp so all the faculty advisors should have gone through uhv 1 and 2 because these faculty advisors will be every faculty advisor has 30 students under them so they will be uh, they they will be trained with the uhv 1 and 2 they will be mentoring the student for next to 4 years so these faculty members will be taking sip so those plans are on we are planning to conduct one regional conference and national conference and networking with other universities as a best practices collectively promoting this human values and centralized repository and web portal for all the uhp activities resources and important links we already had a website in our srm website we have created a repository and few of this uhp activity resources and important links of act has been already given but that has to be uh, enhanced so this was a plan uh, come up with the uh, university plan by mogan sir and he has written a vision and mission statement and this has been shared to vice chancellor sir as well as to chancellor sir to uh, implement it to emerge as a world class university in creating and disseminating knowledge and provide student a value based learning experience the so they have added this value based in the vision and mission as well as in the mission statement so the implementation plans from the discipline ent and snh has come up with uhp will bring a clarity by strengthening the uh, self exploration process and we they feel we are committed to create such a kind of environment conducive environment and give a clarity on the basic aspiration and the process to develop complementarity rather than competitive approach the student induction program has been implemented for the past 2 years and that will be continued and the few minor degree program will be available initially as an electives and uh, faculty members will be trained for these minor degree programs initially before we uh, getting uh, giving it to the students so more such courses like holistic human health iks vision will be uh, faculty will be trained first 
and soon it will be given as an elective to the students. So senior students who have undergone this UHV classes can take few classes for juniors. And this was a practice there in SRM. Some kind of uh, classes will be taken by the senior students, uh, like workshops or uh, six days programs. So workshops for the parents and alumni. Alumni director has attended this uh, MDP. So he has come up with a proposal that we can conduct this kind of workshops to the alumni and educate parents also. So this will help to reinforce the values at home. So the courses like incorporate sustainable development goals in the curriculum can be added. And uh, uh, electric vehicle, minimizing the automobiles inside the campus, food waste, ramps and toilets. These are some of the initiatives which is already there, but still they are strengthening. The hackathon programs for students to resolve the problems within the campus, such as alternate materials for plastic and food waste. Some internship, field work and capstone projects should focus on value-based education. And those initiatives has been taking care by our Dean Sir. So health and hygienic programs, workshops to develop, develop the right understanding, right feeling. This has to be taken care. And now they have come up with the, so to take care of this health. In the canteen now, they are coming up with the organic foods and uh, such kind of shower months they want to uh, come bring. Uh, there are some policies making for this um, organic foods. And these are something which is already implemented like waste management, go green initiative. But it has to be strengthened is what uh, the proposed, the implementation plan they had. And finally, the medical team has come up with the implementation plan, like from first year to uh, final year. Uh, what was the plan is first in the MBBS first year, they want to uh, give a student induction program on UHV1 and IKS1. And during the second year, UHV2 course to be given. And during the third year, the uh, third year of MBBS, they are coming up with the program Holistic Health and its pro philosophy and practice. This is along with the forensic medicine. And during their final year, the foundation course in the institutional uh, Indian constitutional values, the responsible citizen and human rights and duties. So this is going to, this course is going to be implemented during the final year. And um, uh, during the CRI, CRRI period, the human psychology for realizing the full human potential. So this course will be included. So all five years, there will be a course for UHV along with the outreach activities and community health activities. And this medical team is really strong. Nitin Nagakar, Dean, as well as Satinarananji is working for this um, uh, implementation. So this is the core team uh, which has been uh, worked behind this MDP. And uh, we have come up with the upcoming plans is to, since a lot of faculty are interested in enrolling offline sessions. So we have a plan for UHV, one more UHV introductory and UHV in, two in-house program. And we are coming up with a plan of leadership development program and UHV holistic health model program. This too we are planning in the February. And for strengthening the counseling cell, the UHV refresher close only for the counseling cell faculties had to be, uh, is, is in the plan. And this is the uh, UHV cell. Uh, we have a regular meetings, weekly meeting and content discussions and course and coordinator meetings, regular act activity and project which has been taken care. And this is encouraging volunteering. We didn't make anything mandatory. The faculties or whenever there was an activity or project, any coordination, we just put it in a group. So faculty will volunteer by themselves to actively involve in the task and they take up their roles. And it was very encouraging to see they volunteer. And developing a library and resource center, already this books and videos of Ganesh Ji's has been mentioned in the online. And we are also working to collect various important links through our national UHV team to publish and emerge the resource center online as well as offline books has to be kept in the UHV cell and preparing the faculties and staff various awareness meetings are happening then and then and all, what a list of FDPs morning session weekly meetings all these things has been uh, shared with our faculty members and taking this content to the stakeholders we are in the uh, we are in the work on it and uh, implementing course is already there as I mentioned few elective courses we will be concentrating uh, through minor degree courses, we are concentrating to give it as an elective and uh, counseling cell faculty will be uh, trained and holistic health will be implemented. A course will be implemented in the health unit and uh, to inspire and assist the college in our university, uh, sorry, our region to adopt this value-based education, we'll be consistently working towards it. 
and we have come up with few uh, outreach program which is focused on uh, right understanding and we have adopted some 10 schools uh, uh, through unak bharat abhiyan so we are targeting for those schools teachers first and slowly to some village hospital inside srm we have an hospital so we are coming up with some of the programs like adopt a patient kind of thing so those are to develop this right understanding so we are consistently making our uh, pro progress to develop our institution as a living model of holistic value based education and value based living so volunteers are there to conduct this uhv 1 2 programs and few of the volunteers are helping to translate this uhv material in tamil language and they are developing uhv 1 2 self paced course for uh, online srm website they are going to make so such kind of activities are happening and i wholeheartedly thank the whole srm volunteer team as well as the resource persons rajul baya and kumar baya and also the whole team who has supported for us to come this long and uh, we are also ready to help the universities across and thank you so much for the opportunity provided for the sharing thank you